at Fast Ladies Racing. This is Tommy again, and we're here to talk about our external VTEC system. A lot of people have had questions about how that works. Well, let's start by looking at a stock engine that we have right here. And you'll see that the VTEC system is located on the passenger side of the engine, um, driver's side in Japan. Um, the mounting surface is here on the side of the cylinder head, and on this is on a stock engine. On a reverse head engine, all this will be occupied by the cam gear, so obviously we had to eliminate a lot of the mounting surface area. Uh, the first thing you need to understand about VTEC system is how the back of the VTEC system works. We have a old VTEC lobe that, or a VTEC actuator, and you'll see that this is where the screen is. The oil comes through the cylinder head and goes in through the screen, and when the VTEC is not engaged, it comes out of this hole and this hole right here, and just dumps right back into the head through two different orifices. When the VTEC is engaged, the valve moves a little plunger inside, which blocks off this one and this one, and then sends full oil pressure through here which goes through little chambers inside the head into the VTEC camshafts, right through the rocker shafts and act activating the VTEC on both sides. Now, if you come outside, follow me out here to our modified cylinder head. As you can see, we still have it removed because we are replacing the head gasket, so I figured this would be a good opportunity to try and show you guys how it works. Uh, we've remotely mounted it on this aluminum block right here. This block is plumbed just like the mounting surface on the side of the cylinder head for the VTEC orifices to pass through. Now if you look through this, like I said, these ones right here, these are your VTEC return ports. And when the VTEC is not engaged, these right here dump through this line right here and then another line up here that attaches to the valve cover and it just dumps oil back in the head. When the VTEC engages, these two lines are blocked off and then it comes out through here through the discharge port, which is plumbed into this line. This line comes in here just like this and goes right into the intake rocker shaft, passes through the cylinder head near where the old VTEC location point was, does a U-turn in the head, and then comes right back through the other rocker shaft, activating the VTEC just like it did from the factory. So the VTEC oper operates just like the way the engineers designed it. All we did was take the cylinder head and turn it inside out. Stay tuned for another episode of Fast Ladies Racing, and we'll go more in depth on our, on our uh, reverse head engine. Talk to you later.